How much is Keith Lucas being slowed by looking in his rearview mirror to see where Gerardo is? That's the question. And now can Gerardo make a move? He's right in the slipstream as they come past you on the start yes, finish straight. Um, Going up the inside, is he? Comfortable. I'm surprised. No, there's not a, not a gap there. And Andrew Keith Lucas is too good a driver and too wise to leave it open. Um, he's going to say if you want to go around, go around, go around the outside of me. There's that glorious Alfa Romeo, the 1900 CSS, and they're pretty much abreast going past it. And that's uh, Gerardo's got Gerardo's the inside gone forward, water. not the no, quicker line though. Absolutely fantastic. They're still abreast going down towards No Name, and the good news is. They've got obviously Andy Shepard ahead of them, but the track is clear ahead of Shepard, so there shouldn't be any interruptions. But oh, so Ooh, sideways! A wonderful drift there, drift there from Gerardo. But Keith Lucas, as you said, showing great racecraft, almost on the grass on the outside, and really, really working his hard tyres. Very hard now is Max Gerardo. Uh, <laughs> what can you say? That's as close as you can get between those two that in was second and third place. Absolutely extraordinary. Um, towards no name, and side by side, and. Uh, the Ferrari's got his nose ahead on the inside there. The Jag's strong though. It's got uh, it's got good power. And of course Andy's using working his tyres pretty well as well. Yes, Andy's of course tested here many times, sprinted here many times as well. So he knows every nuance of the circuit. That's for well, sure. Well, let's see how good they are under, under the uh, required throwing out of the anchor to get the cars set up. Is that drum brakes versus discs? <laughs> 